What is C Sharp? Hello everyone, welcome to the Micro Nugget on C Sharp. And in this Micro Nugget, just want to talk about what C Sharp is. Not only that, but why it's become so popular, one of the most popular programming languages in the world today. And where it came from, what's so great about it, and, uh, and what are some of the things that we can do with it. So first and foremost, C Sharp is a programming language. And we need programming languages to write software, to build software, right? So whether we're building a web application, or maybe we're building a desktop application, or maybe we're even building a mobile application, all of this, these types of software are built using a programming language. So we would use something like Visual Basic, or C++, or C Sharp to write these applications. Now, in C Sharp's case, in the dot, we have what's called the .NET Framework. And think of the .NET Framework as uh, it contains things like a, a runtime, a virtual machine, as we call it the CLR, the Common Language Runtime, which anytime an application uh, is executed, it a is actually executed through the .NET Framework. That's why PCs, Windows PCs anyway, need the .NET Framework on it. So anytime an application's code is compiled and ran on a user's machine, it's ran through the .NET Framework. So the .NET Framework has all these components, like the CLR, the Common Language Runtime. It has what are called base class libraries, which are what these programming languages can tap into to reuse existing functionality. Things like, you know, at the operating system level, things as easy as sending an email. Why, why reinvent the wheel when Windows already knows how to send an email? So it's got tons of libraries in it that we can tap into to mimic that functionality in our application. Now the .NET Framework also provides all the base functionality that all of these programming languages need in order to operate. Not only that, but it provides low-level stuff like memory management and code security. All of that is built into the framework. So that's why we can think of it as a runtime on top of containing all the tools that we need to build our applications. So the other side of the coin here is the environment that we use to build our applications and to actually write the code. And we use Visual Studio for that in the Microsoft world to do this. And we have what's called Visual Studio.net, or Visual Studio 2010 is the current version that we're working in. And this is what allows us to choose what type of application we're going to build, what programming language we're going to build that application in. Now, there are plenty of programming languages that the .NET framework supports, more so than I've listed here. I've just listed the most popular ones. And there's support for, for existing programming languages getting integrated into .NET all the time. So we've got plenty of programming languages out there. Why do we need another one? Well, the, I, I think the reason Microsoft wanted a, a, another programming language, a new, more modern programming language, is because Visual Basic and C++ were sort of at opposite ends of the spectrum, and they're both starting to show their age. Visual Basic is known as kind of a beginner language. Uh, it doesn't really look like a programming language because there's no you know, squiggly lines or brackets or semicolons, and it's all just like, you know, reading and typing in your native language where C++ was more of a true programming language but the thing is it was a very low level programming language there's a lot of manual things you need to do in C++ to make things happen such as your own memory management and the list goes on and on but it's it's also not an easy programming language to learn because of all that low level low-lying programming that you need to do Visual Basic known as the beginners language because it masks and hides all of that complexities, so it sacrifices power for ease of use. So Microsoft saw middle ground with C Sharp. They said, you know, we need a language that's easy to learn, easy to work with, doesn't sacrifice the power uh, or the control, and still looks and feels like a programming language. So it really takes the best of both worlds and turns it into a programming language that everybody can get into, both Visual, the Visual Basic crowd, the C++ crowd, and anybody from any other programming language, from any other platform that it could attract and bring over to the .NET world. C Sharp is known as an object-oriented programming language, just like Visual Basic, .NET, and Visual C Sharp, and most modern-day programming languages. And what that really means is that we build and model our application by looking at it as a blueprint. And, and the best analogy out there is building a house. Carpenters, builders, they don't just build a house off the top of their head. They design it on on paper, right? They build a blueprint so they have something to work off. So they define ahead of time all of the functionality and features of that house, the data points of that house. And so when we're in Visual Studio, that's what we're doing when we're building an application. We're just modeling exactly what our application should look like through what are called classes. And those classes 
our blueprints. And every time we fire up the application or a user uses a part of the application that needs one of these blueprints, then that blueprint gets turned into an actual object in memory that they can work with. Just like a carpenter would build a house in the real world for someone to, to live in and work with. Another nice thing about the C-Sharp language, because it is so popular, it's become well documented. A lot of people have jumped on the C-Sharp bandwagon over the years, and that makes it easy to learn because there's so much support out there for it. There's a lot of code samples and tutorials and, and just support on the internet for it. Not only that, but if you ever come across something that you need to do, chances are somebody's done it, and it's just a matter of tweaking it to your application style or your liking or your needs. So if you're looking to get into programming or just want to pick up a new programming language, C Sharp is the way to go. There's plenty of support out there for it. There's a wonderful community. It's easy to work with, easy to learn, and it's certainly not going anywhere. Thank you for watching this micro nugget on what is C Sharp. I hope this has been informative for you, and I thank you for viewing.